Welcome back to the Netty Daddy Experience. Ooh, ooh, y'all remember Frenchy from Brick Squad? The one with Gucci Man and Walker? He had that record with Gucci Man. My shirt off, my shirt off, my shirt. Y'all remember that? All right, well, if you don't, anyways, he was sentenced today to do 12 years, followed by a five-year probation after being found guilty at trial for a home invasion that happened in 2021 where a teenage autistic boy was pistol whipped. First of all, why you even took this to trial if you know your ass was in that house? All right, anyways, back in May of 2021 at around 3.37 a.m., Frenchie, along with a group of men, kicked in the front door of a Shirley home while a mother, father, and their 18-year-old autistic son was inside sleeping. Now, Shirley is somewhere in New York. I ain't never heard of that shit, but it's somewhere in New York. Anyways, the intruders targeted the home after receiving information that there would be a large sum of cash and marijuana inside the house. So once the men uh, kicked in the door, they met the family and told the family to lay down on the floor and the son who was autistic didn't comply quick enough so one of the guys pistol whipped the boy causing deep cuts to his face and they was unable to find marijuana and cash and then they end up running trying to flee the scene and they left with some of the family's belonging including the autistic boy's cell phone all right so during the trial it was established that Frenchie was one of the men that illegally entered the home and he was also the getaway driver. Now the DA came out with a uh, statement saying, the pistol whipping of an innocent autistic young man in a failed home invasion is among the most outrageous crimes we have ever prosecuted. Hopefully this defendant's conviction and significant prison sentence provides the victim with some sense of relief and security this sentence should also serve as a reminder that my office is committed to keeping the residents of Suffolk County safe criminals no matter who they are will be accountable for their behavior now if they really wanted to set an example they take his ass outside and let the community stone his ass to death but my thoughts about this whole situation uh Frenchie should do every last second of those 12 years or get stoned to death even though he probably wasn't the one that pistol whipped the autistic kid but damn nigga you should be doing something more productive with your life than trying to steal some weed that you didn't even find now you wasn't a big artist but you did have a little buzz at one point and your cousin is waka flocka your uncle is bimmy so i know you got some damn connections or you could have got some connections and started your own business for Christ's sakes. You could have had a trucking company. You could have owned some real estate. But instead, you was on the internet butt hurt because Gucci Mane started that new label and left your old ass off it. Frenchy last post on Instagram was, God would not allow you to lie on me. Well, apparently, they told the truth because your ass is guilty and your ass got to live the next 12 years of your life in the state penitentiary for nothing. The only thing you did was traumatize an 18-year-old autistic kid and took his phone. Dr. Umar, can you give this fool Frenchie some lashes for me, please? 4,000 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this situation. Do you think 12 years is too harsh on Frenchie or not? Y'all dropped them two cents. That's it. That's all. Peace. Busting out my jeans, feel it cheese, pocket sloppy. I got this out the field, block was hotter than some tuckies. Don't trust people, they might squeal. Get the singing like Takashi. Nigga wants more, I got a carton. If this beef I ain't arguing, I'ma up and hit my target. I'm flushing shit without Charmin.